And all greetings, uh, beloved human family. I am Gilles Mancillon. Welcome to my channel. I wanted to come and say hello. I'm going to pull out a few cards from the, from the Archangel to see about guidance on the Earth's plane. Then I'm going to discuss a couple of ideas about more uh, spiritual issues. I'm going to tell a little story, uh, comment on the painting and do a song. So here is the whole program for this video. I hope you will enjoy it. I will have meaning for you. Uh, the first, uh, what is the highest wisdom for us today is the six of Ariel. Six of Ariel, she says, your, your material needs are fulfilled in an unexpected way, like by magic. Uh, sign of kindness, give and receive with gratitude and, and, um, and uh, an acknowledgement. So, so it is very much about allowing this magical experience that is life to, to be fulfilled in a way that is unexpected, to leave a space for miracle in our life. Uh, what we need to understand is the five of Ariel, which is a little bit contrasted in relation to that. So it says you are not obliged to, to, um, to meet every challenge by yourself. There is help right around, there is help uh, right there. Negative thoughts are not making things going forward. So, so it is very important. She's out in the cold, but she, she's got this. She, she, she's, she's still warm. Uh, she, she still has the understanding that uh, wherever our, our focus goes is where our energy flows. So we need to focus to let go as much as possible for, from all um, all conditioning, all past experiences that were that were not uh, positive, so that we can move our program, our life program forward. So it is very important to, to let go of negative thoughts in order to, to move forward. What, what we need to do is the, the king of Mikhail, which has principle, rational, ambitious, respected, uh, leave place to wisdom and objectivity. Uh, be, uh, be sincere and honest. The situation must be, uh, must be handled with, um, with truthfulness and necessitate really good communication. So, so it is important to, to be authentic and to be straightforward and to communicate as much as possible. And the general message for us today is the seven of Raphael. It says, is this time to take a decision? Identify clearly what you want and then act. Need to purify. For it is important to, uh, to, to, to uh, to narrow down our focus to what is wanted. So, uh, uh, and, and so it leads me to my question. My question is, what is your dream? We have to have a dream. We have to have a vision. We have to, to how do we see ourselves living in the future once we can imagine that all the limitations that are plaguing us or that have burdened us in the past have been removed? How do we see our ideal life? Please leave me a comment and let me know what you, how you see yourself in this relationship of, of life. What is, your, what is your role in this ascension? What is your role in the golden age? How do you envision yourself? What do you... What do you feel uh, would be your, your, most, uh, your most joyful and happy situation? What, what do you envision? For we need a dream. There is no guarantee our dream will come true, but dreams are free. And if we have a dream, we are richer than if we do not have. Yet if we have faith, uh, we, we, we may cultivate that dream. It is important to cultivate our vision and to trust the universe, to trust that our, the universe can bring us into this situation where our dream can be fulfilled. I also wanted to thank you all for not just for, for supporting this, this channel, but for all the work you do. For, for it is because of this awakening, this desire to, to move into something new, to move into something better, that, uh, that uh, this, this transformation into this golden age is, will be happening. It's, it's because there are millions of people that are looking into the light, looking into the possibility of, a, of peace and joy and, and making peace with ourselves and with the world, that, that this will, will be happening for, for the, the spirits are willing and able to help, but they cannot do that if, uh, if, if humans do not call on them. For even in the Quran, Allah said, uh, you cannot do anything for men until man changes. For God, uh, God is, um, is all powerful, but his, his will is submitted to our own will. Uh, for, for God is the most virtuous of the cosmos, but is the most liberal of liberal. He, he express, he goes, he goes with us into a, every exper experiment. Imagine there are seven billion souls on the earth. Everybody is having a very different system of belief and experience, and, and then you can multiply that by uh, over six thousand billion, six trillion uh, planets in the core, uh, right now evolving in the in the grand universe. And so, so that means there is infinite diversity, and God is experiencing. It all. So he's very liberal, yet he's very virtuous because he's, he, he does not impose his will on any of his creatures. He allows them to fulfill 
their own choice, their own decision, until we choose to align ourselves with the will of God, the will of the highest good, the supreme divine love. The, the, and for that, we have to understand that uh, <clears throat> as we move into this, this understanding of love and light, we, we, we're gaining strength. And, and the more we are connected through this unity to all the light workers, it becomes a collective strength. And then from there, it will be very easy to, to change the civilization with our thoughts. Our thoughts will be so powerful as a collective vision. Once the collective vision is, is being um, is anchored. We have to understand that right now in this polarized world that we are living, there is the presence of good and, and bad in all sphere. There is presence of dark and light, uh, the pure and the impure. Everything, in the, all those powers are represented in all things. In the darkest organization, there is the presence of light. In the lightest organization, there is the presence of darkness. For there is a, the only thing we need to disconnect. All kinds of uh, we need to. to to let go of all, all kinds of external authority, for we are uh, a society is based on much of our society is, is 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 based on the double talk of George Orwell, 1984. What is black is white. What is uh, white is black. Um, war is peace. Peace is war. Strength is uh, ignorance is strength. Uh, freedom is slavery. All those things are is what is being taught over and over again. So we we have to learn to think for ourselves, to to question all forms of authority. And, uh, and understand that all the spirit intelligence of the universe are awaiting your call. They're all at your service, but they have to be invited. They have to, uh, so if you, I, so give yourself the permission. I give you the permission. Give yourself the permission to call on them, to invoke those forces. Um, to, to call to invoke them to call on them to to for assistance it is very important they cannot interfere with your own free will you are a divine creator so if you don't invite them they will not interfere with your life so the you may call on the great archangel metatron is is a very very powerful being who's who are, uh, who's got great ability to assist us but we have to invite him same thing with archangel michael very very powerful those are there are many many spiritual presence but some of them are very subtle when those archangels are very uh, connected with the earth plane and, and, and they have um, they may be the easiest of all uh, um, even our guides are more subtle more discreet and those those presence can be more felt uh, felt um, and, and until the day we can open uh, lines of telepathic communication with the whole realm of the spirit an exercise is we can do is to you, you sit in meditation and you invoke you call on the, the Lord Melchizedek the, the, the universal logo and the Archangel Metatron and the Archangel uh, Michael. And, and so you, you sit in between those three great patriarchal energy figures. Those beings are divine beings of light. They will assist you. They will reinforce you. And you can work with this exercise. You can call on them 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Of course, the, the, there has to be a certain um, trust and, and respect in relationship for when you call on spirit. You have to, to respect the fact that they know more than you do and they are here in service to you. But uh, do not belittle yourself for you are the you are a divine child of God. And in many sense, uh, God has only one interest in life. It is you. You are the only. This is to God. It is like you are the only being in, in reality. Why? Because it's um, because uh, um, th there is those uh, those sort adjuster, the mystery monitors known as the I am presence. Those are divine spirit beings. They are all individual beings, and their ultimate mission is to fuse within the human soul. As a human soul, if we do not achieve that fusion, we, we reincarnate. We continue our program, but the adjuster changes, and every incarnation nation for the adjusters cannot stay um, they, they, they can they, they, they're not bounded to any one planet once they have a mission on one planet they are sent to another planet and so on and so on and so on and so but our adjuster is, is the, the highest minister it is it is the spirit of God minus personality. And so understand also that uh, those are just ideas, but they are translation of Dharma. They are trying to interpret some aspect of the law, some understanding. For God needs, wants to be understood and love. For for love is the is the only true religion that we need to to understand. Love, love, love. It is uh, at the end that's the only thing that that's what every all the galactic and the masters have discovered. And, and that that spirit power is uh, the gods, the deity are, are involved in turning potential into actual. Uh, that is true for material possibility and, and spiritual possibility. For we have an unlimited potential within us, both, uh, and so we need to to work with that that force, work with that spirit, understand that God is the source of all that is good. 
And uh, so, so claim your divinity, be humble, follow the, the golden brick road that, that leads you all the way back to the source. And also understand the sun is a great deal of a power source. It is the, the guardian of the collective soul. When they will realize that the earth is a real person, the, the stars are the real real entity beings personal they have personality but they are also countless beings that live inside the sun we need to achieve a six dimensional frequency at minimum to to be able to integrate the sun once i was pulled into the sun and, and i had this marvelous vision that was a very long time ago and so because my frequency allowed that and so i, I could i could realize that in the sun the reality is quite a marvelous um, marvelous marvelous uh, experience so to so understand the sun is your, your power center it is your soul you are just as bright as that focus on the light uh, invoke the light call on the light uh, i'm going to finish with a little uh, story here i wanted to to it's, it's a little philosophical story i don't know if you've heard it before but i just heard it, it was something i heard so it was funny it's about sexuality and the difference between male sexuality and woman sexuality so the story of a little monk that uh, that goes back to he was coming from the city and, and he returns to to his temple and and he's very confused and he goes see his master and and he says master master I have a question for you I'm very confused I do not understand I was in the, I was in town and uh, and um, there was the the daughter of the of the of the shoemaker she, she was she had a lot of sexual relation and everybody was shaming her when, when the, the the son of the of the bread maker he had a lot of relation with a lot of women and everybody was making him as a hero i do not understand why, why they, they, they have the same kind of why why is that and the master said well i'm going to explain it to you it is very simple understand that uh, the, the sex of a man is like a key and the sex of a woman is like a, a um, it's like a, a door or uh, it's like a door uh, and so when you have a key that opens every door it is a magical key but if, if you have a door that any key can open, then the, the, it is not a very precious door. Well, I hope you, you find that amusing. Uh, it is a, it is just a little a, mu, a, mu, a little a little understanding in relationship to 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 uh, to how how life works because we, we are uh, we have create we have been created with gender and we have certain we have to assume certain responsibility in relationship to the gender we have chosen in in this incarnation in truth we are both male and we have the divine feminine and divine masculine within ourselves and so uh, and we have to love and respect each other no matter what it is uh, uh, for for that is the most important to recognize the love and the, and the sanctity of uh, of all beings and from there you, any experience is uh, is appreciated uh, and and, uh, and can be experienced the painting behind me is called dna origin it's kind of a complex painting it is i'm not going to decode it all but uh, uh, in essence it shows that uh, our dna comes from the pleiades it says m45 with the seven sisters here and there is this this lines that brings it down here to the earth there is the earth with the symbol of the earth and here the, above there is a little y a, a y with two points which is the symbol of wisdom and here there is a mask for for when we come down here we have to wear a mask because we do not know who we are with this big, big signature uh, here there is a there is the the key and the, the key and the door here and the seven uh, the seven circles of consciousness the, the connection of mars and venus and there is all kinds of other symbols in this uh, the dna symbols which is uh, which is turns into a loop loop and, and to the sign of infinity for for, uh, for the dna is a replication of the dna of god and so we one strand is you the other strand is god and so you you as we open those those parts of our DNA we reconnect certain parts of our brain and we become more aware and this is really what's happening this um, this crystallization of energy well I hope this message was interesting for you uh, I thank you for liking sharing commenting letting me know if, if you if you do have a vision if uh, what is your what is your ultimate vision how do you see yourself living in the future once you remove all the limitation and, and I want you to cultivate that that idea and understanding to 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 inform the universe of that I'm going to finish with an old song. It's just I haven't had time to really look into new songs, so I'm going to sing that one. It's an old song. It's everybody knows that one. It's a, it's a bit cynical song, but that's funny. It's a funny song. It goes like this. In the cavern, in the canyon, excavating for a mine, dwelt a miner, 49 and his daughter, Clementine. 
Oh my darling, oh my darling, oh my darling Clementine, you are lost and gone forever. Dreadful sorry Clementine. Light she was and like a fairy, and her shoes were number nine. Herring boxes with our tops, sandals were for Clementine. Oh my darling, oh my darling, oh my darling Clementine, you are lost and gone forever, dreadful sorry Clementine. Drove she ducklings to the water every morning just at nine. Hit her foot against a splinter, fell into the foaming brine. Oh my darling, oh my darling, oh my darling Clementine, you are lost and gone forever, dreadful sorry Clementine. Rubbing lips against the water, blowing bubbles soft and fine. But alas, I was no swimmer, and I lost my Clementine. Oh, my darling, oh, my darling, oh, my darling Clementine, you are lost and gone forever, dreadful sorry Clementine. Ah, I missed her, ah, I missed her, ah, I missed my Clementine. But I kissed a little sister and forgot my Clementine. Oh, my darling, oh, my darling, oh, my darling Clementine, you are lost and gone forever, dreadful sorry Clementine. Well, thank you very much. I wish you a magnificent day and I'll talk to you later. Namaste.